database manager restoring database this option is used in case you need to restore the data in other computer this option is also used to reload your data after you have formatted the computer please note always use this option on server system where SQL server is installed database restoration has two options number one using dot back files fusion retail six uses Microsoft SQL server in backend as database manager it creates dot back files as database backup number two using dot zip file fusion retail six creates its own backup in zip format in fusion retail six backup dot zip you can find format files folder layout folder photo folder error.log file fusion retail dot exe dot config file message dot log file database backup file created by Microsoft SQL server with dot back extension ransom MLIM dot log file sync dot log file open Fusion Retail 6 database manager manually right click on the Fusion Retail 6 icon on desktop select properties from the list click on open file location button it will open the installation folder here you can find Fusion Retail .exe .config file delete this file from this folder Now, double click on Fusion Retail 6 EXE. When Fusion Retail 6 starts, it searches the Fusion Retail .exe .config file. If not found, it will open the database manager. Now, look, the database manager got opened. Click on the next button to continue the process. Fusion Retail 6 database manager will now search for available database servers in the network after that we have to specify appropriate field values we recommend using default settings now here we have to provide appropriate field values database server database server is the name of the computer on which SQL server is installed by default, Installer creates a new instance of SQL Server by the name of Rancelab SSE. This instance is accessible by typing server name backslash Rancelab SSE, where server name is the name of the computer in which SQL Server is installed. I am using this computer as my server. The name of my computer is support4, so it is showing the server name as support4 backslash Rancelab SSE. Now, come to authentication, there are two authentication modes. The default authentication mode is SQL Server. You can use Windows as alternate authentication mode. In username field, we have to specify the username of SQL Server, the default username is SAA. In user password field, we have to specify the password of SQL Server, the default password is blank. Let us use the default setting. Click on the next button. Now, the option screen is here. Select restore option and click on the next button. OK, it is time to enter the database name. Type a database name, as per your choice. As, I am restoring a database, with the name, my database. After entering a database name, select the backup file. As we are going to restore Fusion Retail 6 backup, let us select the zip file. To select the zip file check this checkbox. We also want to restore other files associated with Fusion Retail 6 Backup, so let us check this checkbox also. Now click here to locate the file in my hard disk. Click the open button. Click on the next button. Well, it is now asking for our confirmation to restore the database. Click on the Yes button to continue the process. OK. 
database restored is successfully. Click the OK button to continue. Now it's time to select a proper station name from the list. As I am going to use this system as my server, I am selecting server as station name. Click again on the next button. Click on the finish button to close the database manager. After closing the database manager software will run automatically. Let me enter the username and password to log in, in the software. The username is a DM and the password is a DM in my database. It may differ for your database. Finally, the database restored is successfully. This is all about restoring a blank database using the database manager at Fusion Retail 6. For more information on Fusion Retail 6, you can visit www.ransalab.com slash help and www.ransalab.com slash FAQ. Thank you for your time.